So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you another FIFA 18 Karemo Top Tips video and today I am bringing you the best players to sign in Road to Glory career modes. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory if I'm being brutally honest. These are the best players that you can sign for very cheap amounts. They're all young players with high potentials that you can get for less than a million pounds. And in some instances, less than half a million pounds. So you won't even be using your entire transfer budget in a Road to Glory either. You've got plenty to, you've got a little bit to spend, not plenty, but a little bit to spend after buying some of these players. And they'll grow as you grow through the divisions as well. So these guys will be useful in an English Road to Glory, starting from League two or in a French one, a Spanish one, a German one, starting from the new third tier of German football. So definitely if you enjoy the video, slap a like on it because there'll be plenty of video, uh, plenty of players, sorry, usable in this video. And of course, subscribe if you are new to the channel. But I've been talking too long for this intro because we've already got the first player and it's Vincent Thiel. You'll have been seeing his attributes there in the background. He's a 64 overall attacking midfielder who can also play as a centre forward. If you train his finishing, he's going to be decent as a striker realistically, though his finishing is really Really low. Maybe that's the reason he's converted to an attacking midfielder for this year's game. 64 overall, as I mentioned, playing for Mets in the French League. I'm not entirely sure if they're in the second tier of French football or first this season, uh, but he's a Luxembourgish attacking midfielder, or from Luxembourg, basically. He's got two traits as well. He's the only player actually with traits in this entire video, and his potential is 84, and you can get him for about £900,000, so pretty decent for a decent overall, you know, a decent starting overall as well. You should get into your first team pretty much straight away. After that, we've got Mikhail Cuisance um, from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Now, this guy has got some really good attributes already to say he's only 63 overall. 81 curve, 71 short passing, and in the 70s as well as free kick accuracy. He also had three, um, I think it was physical stats as well, that were also green. So he's got some really good attributes to say he's only 63 overall. Three-star uh, skill moves, two-star weak foot. As I mentioned, he's French, playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach. You can get him, I think, for about £800,000 and he's got a potential of 84. So once again, like the man before him, Vincent Thiel, very, very cheap. And also, you know, he's got a very good potential as well. Easily, you could, you know, you could easily bring him in for a Road to Glory career mode. And after that, we're staying with the German theme. We've got Christian Fruchtel uh, from Bayern Munich. 17-year-old goalkeeper, 65 overall. Pretty damn tall as well as this kid. Definitely looks as if he's going to be a very good goalkeeper for the future. Six foot four is his actual height. Yeah, 65 overall though. And he's got the best potential in this video. 86 is the overall that he can get to. And also, um, he is worth around about 875,000 or 900,000 pounds. So again, a pretty similar value to some of the other guys. You'll see some even cheaper players as you're about to right now. But Christian Fruits are the best player in terms of overall or potential, sorry, in this video. Uh, Rhys Nelson is next up, the Arsenal right midfielder. Uh, 84 acceleration and 84 agility are his best attributes, but he's also got green on his dribbling and sprint speed. So very pacey, very good dribbler of the ball and decent ball control as well as shot power. Yeah, he's 59 overall at the start of the game and has a potential of 83 you can pick him up unbelievably for 500,000 pounds I do believe or somewhere in the ballpark somewhere in the region of that value which is very good for a player of you know a decent overall I'm not gonna lie you know you could still use him with his pace and dribbling ability in a league two side for example for that little money and he's gonna be so good in the future as well three star weak foot and three star skill moves incidentally on him as well next up though we've got the Borussia Dortmund center back Dan Axel Zagadou another French player in this video of the never-ending see or seemingly never-ending um, sort of conveyor belt of French footballers. Very tall is uh, Dan Axel Zagadou. He's already six foot five somehow at the age of only 18. 64 overall though at the start of the game can play as a centre-back or a left-back and very good strength on this guy. Two-star skill moves, uh, three-star weak foot. As I mentioned, six foot five with medium attacking and defensive work rate and he's got the potential to grow to 83 overall. Another player that you can pick up for around about 600,000 or 700,000 pounds. Next up though is Nedim Bajrami or Bajrami I think this guy's name might be. Um, I've gone off the screen by accident but there we go. 62 overall player from Grasshopper Zurich. Slight technical malfunction there um, but I'm sure Nedim won't mind if for some reason he is watching this video but the 18 year old Grasshopper Zurich central midfielder. His best attributes are acceleration, sprint speed and agility which are all green. He's also got 72 on his short passing as well so very decent attributes to be quite honest with you for a player who is only
only 62 overall. We saw that with Cuisance earlier. Maybe it's the reason, maybe it's just because they're central midfielders. In, in this case, Bayram, he can also play as an attacking midfielder. 18 years of age. Guessing he's got Albanian heritage with a name like that. There's a lot of players like uh, that have Albanian heritage from Switzerland, the likes of Granit Xhaka and stuff. And judging by his name, I think Nedim Bayrami is probably following suit in that instance. But that's irrelevant, quite frankly, because you can get him for around about 400 or 500,000 pounds. And his uh, overall or potential, sorry, is 82. So definitely worth the investment and pretty unknown as well. Bit of a hidden gem there when it comes to Road to Glory style players. Next up, though, is yet another Frenchman, this time playing in France or technically in Monaco because we've got AS Monaco striker Moussa Silla. 60 overall is his starting, well, overall, his starting value, but he's got a potential to grow to 83. Decent dribbling, finishing and ball control, finishing as you would expect, but also a decent dribbler of the ball and his athleticism isn't too bad as well. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves. He's five foot eleven on the game. Whether he is that in real life, I don't know. Medium attacking and defensive work rate, and he's 17 years of age. So it should be very easy to train right at the start of the career mode. And as I mentioned, he is 60 overall. But uh, sort of beating him just by one is the next player, Camille Ozozviak, who's 61 overall. So slightly beating Silla on that one. And look at his sprint speed. Already in the 90s, that's absolutely disgusting for a player of this age. Really good agility and balance as well on this guy, so you can tell what sort of winger he is. He, this guy is fully worth the money, because especially in the lower divisions, you're going to struggle to find many defenders who are very, very pacey. Obviously, when you get to the higher divisions, that's a little bit more frequent, but playing in the third tier of German football, for example, this guy's going to be blitzing past fullbacks and centre-backs, left, right and centre, even if some of the other attributes in his game aren't that high. But the pace is going to be huge. High attacking work rate as well is always helpful for a winger and he's got three star weak foot and three star skill moves Incidentally his potential there is 82 So again another hidden gem playing over in Poland for Lech Poznan Definitely pick him up just for the pace alone and of course the good potential that comes with it After that the penultimate player in this video is the Wolfsburg left back Gianluca Itter or Jan then Luca Itter, it's not one name for some reason, but the 18 year old left back is 64 overall at the start of the game, has a very decent potential as well, one of the best in the video, 84 is his potential, playing over in the German Bundesliga, 2 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves, not too important when it comes to a left back. Um, it says his preferred foot is left, but for some reason there's a glitch on FIFA 18 where everyone is left-footed on this screen. I imagine as a left-back, he probably is left-footed though. And he's also got high attacking work rate, so he'll get forward and get involved in attacks and make overlapping runs for his wingers. The final player though in this video, we stay in Germany, is Elias Abashu Baka. Ashu, Ab, Abu, Abu Shabaka, there we go, I don't know why I pronounced that so badly, I've literally, this guy's been in a video before, but Elias Abu Shabaka, the German central attacking midfielder, that, my brain really didn't work just then, maybe I need to just go for a nap or something, but 62 overall attacking midfielder, 17 years of age, playing for RB Leipzig over in the Bundesliga, 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves on this guy, and uh, he is a very, de very decent player, very decent player indeed, has the second best potential of anyone in the entire video being 85, so he is definitely worth it. Around about 800,000 or 900,000 pounds. A little bit more than Jules Viac, who we saw a moment ago, who's worth like 400 or 500,000, but he's a better overall, really, is Abu Shabaka, and he's also got a better potential. So, you've got to weigh things up. You've got a little bit less money, then go for the likes of Bayrami or Jules Viac, or someone like Reese Nelson, equally. But if you've got a little bit more, then go for a Vincent Thiel or a Cuisance or a Fructal or anyone like that. You know, there's plenty of players that you can get for around about 800,000, but there's also plenty of players out there you can get for even less than half a million. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the options that have been thrusted in front of you in this video because all of these guys would be so, so effective in a Road to Glory style career mode, which if you've made it this far and you don't really know what a Road to Glory style career mode is, I guess I should have explained this at the start, but it's really a career mode, I'm sure you'll know, but it's a career mode really where you take a small team from a low division and, you know, obviously you don't have too much money, you build them from the ground up and then you turn them into a European giant or a domestic giant or a team generally that is very good in comparison to where they started off in the career mode save and all of those guys in this video are perfect for that exact type of career mode so if you've enjoyed it if you're going to take away some of these players and go and sign them then make sure to slap a like on this FIFA 18 top tips video and if you're new to the channel then make sure to subscribe as well it's that big red button under the video make sure to do that if you are new to the channel because it really really helps me out 50,000 subscribers is once again the goal for the end of the year 
And uh, we're, looking, we're looking good to hit it with you guys' support as well. You can also now follow me on Twitter. My handle is on the screen. It is at the official FNG. Links to it are in the description. And my Instagram is exactly the same at the official FNG over there as well. But I hope you've enjoyed all the players involved in this video, all of these Road to Glory style players. And if there's any more that you use in your career mode saves on FIFA 18, then drop them down in the comments section. I'm hoping to do a couple more of these and make it into a little bit of a mini series, bringing you loads of players that you can sign for this style of career mode. But apart from that, it has been an absolute pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. Yo, I roll out with some monsters, looks like your team and you watches. I do not roll with imposters, sound like the man in the Oscars. I'm drunk of Henry and Foster's. I have a career, I am jobless. This bitch you f me so hard, I might just end up unconscious. I like girls in lingerie, especially if it is crushes. Bitch, I am the bigger picture. There is no way you can crop us.